Hello, this is Peter Detmer, Madison College. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple mold or negative part uh, from two components. Uh, in my case, I have a simple fixture block here that I want to insert a part and subtract that part from this uh, fixture block. I added some uh, simple work planes to you to make constraining easier. It's a three inch by three inch by one inch block. Uh, then I also need uh, my product file or the part I want to subtract from my fixture block. Uh, here is another inventor file and you can see I added some additional axes and work planes to also make constraining easier. Uh, then we want to create an assembly of how I want this fixture to look later on. So I inserted my blank piece, I inserted my uh, fuel cap in this case, constrained them and inserted this fuel cap inside this body uh, to the depth that I want. Uh, make sure you save all your files. Uh, the next step is to create a new part. Make sure you use the appropriate uh, units that you want. In this part now, uh, we're going to derive. And uh, for derive, we're going to select the assembly file that we created using those two parts. Uh, when we open this file, we see them as we had them constrained. Now we want to use derive style uh, the first one, which creates a single body out of the two components. This allows us to select the item we want to subtract and uh, from the blank piece. Uh, this, by clicking OK now, will subtract this item from the first item. You can see we have a perfect negative or mold now from this part we had uh, constrained inside the other component. And uh, there will still be some cleanup to be done, you know, like the inside would have to be removed so that uh, we can actually insert the part and 3D print it for a part to sit in this nest or fixture later on. Thank you and good luck.